Hi everybody. Uh, this video looks at some of the basics of fusion strips, which are the surface joining geometry in your fusion model, and strip items, which are the clickable moto item elements that represent that geometry. Internally, uh, strips are dynamically added and removed as you edit, and uh, that's taken care of automatically. Strip items uh, found in Moto's item list represent those strips and make them selectable in the 3D viewport, and they provide access to their properties. So uh, let's start from scratch with three simple meshes. When I make a new a fusion item, strips and strip items are automatically created. Each of these strip items represent all of the intersection seams between a pair of source meshes. You can see that reflected in the item names. Some fusion operations, like making a new fusion item or adding new meshes with drag and drop, do create strip items, but dynamic editing does not create those strip items. When I bring the two cones into contact, a new strip is created, but no strip item is generated. So as you edit, you will need to occasionally hit the Update Strips button in the Strip Options pop-up form. That creates a strip items for any new strips. And here you see the new strip item, named R-Cone, L-Cone. Strip items are clickable in the 3D viewport, which, by the way, is how you should always edit strips. I'm only showing selecting strip items in the item list so you can see what's going on uh, under the hood. So, why aren't strip items automatically added and removed as you edit? Well, let's say I edit this new strips properties to my liking, uh, in this case making it wider and giving it a rounder profile. And then later, while just exploring modeling options, I move the cones out of contact. As you can see, the strip item remains, even though the strip it represents no longer exists. Because of that, when I bring the cones into contact again, Fusion applies my previous edits to the newly created strip and associates that new strip with the preserved strip item. Naturally, as you arbitrarily edit your model, doing things like moving meshes around or adding and removing meshes, strip items may become obsolete and, as we saw earlier, new strips may appear. Nonetheless, strip items are preserved unless you take explicit action to remove them. Some fusion tools automatically perform thorough updating of the strip items. But as you see here, simply clicking Update Strips does not remove this currently inactive strip item. Inactive strip items can be manually removed with this Delete Inactive Strips button which brings up this alert reminding you that the properties stored in any inactive strips will be lost. After making major changes to your model, you may want to use the Update Strip button's optional Alt Key Activated command called Reset All Strips. As the subsequent alert informs you, several operations are performed that completely rebuild the strip items in the item list. This includes the creation of substrips, which are individual items representing each of the strip segments that result from the intersection of two meshes. Uh, we haven't gotten into that yet, and we'll take a look at that in the next video.